Good morning. You gotta go outside. beautiful people I am super excited for today's video because we are gonna be filming a full day of eating as a vegan and you guys are gonna see lots of my favorite recipes and you know what I like to eat in a day you guys saw my breakfast already I had toast with some almond butter blueberries flaxseed and cinnamon and it was so good usually I'm not super hungry in the morning so I won't eat a ton but that piece of toast was perfect filled me up and that is such a good combination like putting the almond butter with the blueberries and the cinnamon oh my gosh don't even get me started on the monster because Pedro got me hooked on them I don't drink energy drinks I don't like any energy drinks except that one the other monster flavors terrible guava ultra fiesta fantastic so anyway like I said don't want to talk about it but I do want to say that I follow an intuitive eating approach so I just kind of eat what I want it changes based on the day depending on what I'm craving at a certain time of day or what we have in the house or how hungry I am so just keep that in mind I'm not advising you eat this way this is just how I eat this is just the food I enjoy and it changes on a day-to-day -day basis so I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating I'm about to head to the grocery store I will take you guys with me and show you a few things I get and then we'll go ahead and make lunch. So let's go ahead and head to the grocery store. Okay, one quick thing I forgot to mention. I do take supplements. I take a probiotic supplement and I take an immune system supplement just because after anorexia and having had an eating disorder for so long, my immune system really tanked. So I do take a probiotic and an immune system supplement, but that's all I take. Those are the only supplements I take. I don't take a multivitamin or any additional omegas just because I get plenty of vitamins and plenty of omega-3s in my diet. So just the probiotic and just the immune system supplement, that's all I take. Okay guys, so I just got back from the grocery store. I'm going to unload and get some things done around the apartment and then I will check back in with you guys for lunch. All right guys, so it is time for lunch. Your girl is hungry, but I'm just gonna make something real quick because I do have a lot to get done today. I'm actually gonna be filming Thursday's video today and I still have to work out and all that fun stuff. So I'm just gonna make something really quick. I have a little bit of this teriyaki baked tofu left over. Their sesame ginger one, you guys just saw me get at the grocery store. That's also really good. And like I said, it's baked, so it's already pre-made and everything. I'm just gonna eat it by itself, but you can put it in nourish bowls, you can put it in salads, whatever you want. It's super good, extra protein. And then I'm gonna have some baby carrots with hummus. Pedro doesn't like hummus, which crazy, right? I know but that means it's all mine. So I just eat straight out of the container. This one's my favorite. It's the Sabra roasted pine nut hummus. So I'm gonna dip the carrots in this and I have an apple. 
and that's gonna be my lunch. I know it's not super fancy, it's super quick and easy, but that's what's realistic for me. I often pack, you know, this stuff for work and it's just super easy to throw together, take with me on the go and super easy to make. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And then dinner is gonna be a really good recipe. This is one of Pedro and I's recent favorites. So stay tuned for dinner because it's gonna be good and you guys are gonna want this recipe, trust me. tip binder clips work way better to seal things up than those like regular chip clips and stuff so use them all right guys so i just finished lunch and i'm going to take benito out on a little walk then i'm going to come back and start filming thursday's video but stay tuned because your girl is a snacker and i'm definitely going to be having a snack here in the next like hour or so you want to go outside you want to go outside you want to go potty What's up guys? So I just finished filming Thursday's video and I need a little a little snack before I head to the gym. So I'm gonna snack on some of this Boom Chicka Pop light kettle corn. I love the regular kettle corn, but I could easily devour the whole entire bag. So I buy the light one because, you know, less sugar and whatnot, but I'm gonna eat that before I head to the gym. Definitely stay tuned for Thursday's video. I'm super excited for that one. And yeah, I'm just gonna snack on that popcorn for a little bit, chill out, and then head to the gym. I think I'm gonna do more of a like full body plyometric type training day today because I feel like since COVID started and the whole quarantine and whatnot, my training has been really inconsistent. Like I'll literally train four days in a row and then I won't work out for like three weeks. So it's kind of crazy, but I'm gonna hit the gym today. We're gonna do full body, do some plyos, and it's gonna be fun. And then I will come back and show you guys my post workout meal snack whatever it is before dinner benny do you do you want a treat oh, do you want a treat come here you want a treat oh, okay which one do you want do you want a do you want a pretzel oh ooh. guys benny loves benny loves these peanut butter pretzels from costco do you want a pretzel guys so I just finished my workout it was pretty quick today nothing really crazy or anything but it definitely felt good to get moving I haven't really been loving going to the gym lately I don't really like the structured aspect of exercise as much as I used to so I'm definitely trying to find other ways to stay active I think Pedro and I are gonna get into tennis once some of this COVID craziness dies down okay guys so I just got back from my workout now that I'm back I'm going to be making a protein smoothie so that's what I'm gonna be making and I'll show you guys what I put in it. Okay, so since it's like almost five and we're probably gonna be having dinner soon, I'm going to half this recipe. So usually I use one cup of blueberries. I'm only gonna use half a cup. So just keep that in mind as I make this. But I only put four things in this protein smoothie. I put blueberries. I also put soy milk, protein powder. This is my favorite vegan protein. It's Organic Protein by Purely Inspired, and it's their French vanilla flavor. It's really good. And then, you guys already know. Did you really think I could go a whole day without peanut butter? So, you have blueberries, I put soy milk, you can use any plant milk you want, vegan protein, and some peanut butter. Some days I'll put flaxseed or chia seed in there, but today I'm just gonna keep it simple. almost out. I have another tub in the pantry, but I don't want to open it. So I think I'm just going to pour the rest of this in there. Usually I will do two scoops. Today I was just going to do one scoop, but I think I'm just going to put it all in there. Technically I only put one tablespoon in, but I just put one big tablespoon. Okay, 
say sometimes I will go in there and scrape down the sides just to make sure that the protein powder and the peanut butter isn't just like clumped up on the sides and then I'll blend it again. Oh my gosh. Like I said, usually I double this recipe, but since I'm having dinner so soon, I just wanted to make half of it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is heavenly. <laughs> Pedro actually showed me this recipe, but I just made it vegan because he uses like regular milk and whey protein. I've switched him to plant-based milk now, but he still uses regular protein powder, like whey protein. I just made it vegan. I'm so happy right now. Okay guys, before I go shower, I really wanna tell you what we're having for dinner because I'm so excited. We are having roasted sweet potato broccoli and chickpea tahini bowls. These are so good. Like I said, they've become one of Pedro and I's recent favorite recipes, completely vegan. Basically, it's just roasted sweet potato, broccoli, and chickpeas over rice with some tahini on top. The recipe actually calls for like an almond butter tahini, but that's more work than we wanted to put into it. And we used regular tahini and it was so good. So that's just what we're going to do. I will link the recipe in the description box below. You guys should definitely check it out. And yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna go shower real quick and then I will come back. We'll start prepping the food and everything. Usually Pedro and I would do that together because we love cooking together. We've been doing like cooking at home dates, especially since quarantine started this year with COVID and all that craziness. But he works late tonight. So I'm just gonna make it in bulk so that when he gets home, he can have some as well. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be having for dinner. I'll be right back. Broccoli, hefty sweet potato. The recipe calls for two, but this one's super big. So I'm just gonna use this one. Olive oil, teeny, some curry powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, garbanzo beans, and then brown rice. I'm gonna go ahead and drain these chickpeas first because they need to be super dried before they go in the oven. And then I'll start chopping up the broccoli and the sweet potato to bake.
Penny, this is my dinner. You want it? You want some sweet potatoes? Yeah. Okay guys, so I am about to finish my full day of eating with some ice cream. This is my absolute favorite vegan ice cream. It is so delicious. Dairy-free chocolate cookies and cream. It's to die for. This is what I got left. So I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating.